In this problem, we're being asked to use Newton's method to approximate a root. In this case, the square root of 21. We're told to start with x equals 1 and continue until two successive approximations differ by less than 1 1,000th. You may have used Newton's method to approximate the zeros of a function. If you haven't used Newton's method to approximate a root, you might be a little confused at first because in Newton's method, of course, we need a function and we need the derivative of that function. So what's the function here? Well, to get a function that works to approximate roots in, with Newton's method, we simply set x equal to the root, so x equals the square root of 21. Now, I'm going to square both sides, so x squared equals 21, and then I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides, so we have x squared minus 21. And that's our function. So f of x equals x squared minus 21, and of course, the derivative of that is just 2x. Okay. Now we've got what we need. We've got a function, we've got the derivative of that function, and we can use Newton's method. We're going to take 1 to plug in for our first x sub n, calculate it, get our next x sub n, and keep plugging it in until we meet our condition of having two approximations that differ by less than 1 1,000th. That can be a lot of tedious calculation. So I want to show you a method that can help alleviate some of that tediousness. So I'm going to use a spreadsheet to help me with my calculations. And I've got a workbook open in Excel here. And in column A, that's where I'm going to put my x sub n values. And in column B, that's where I'm going to calculate the Newton's method formula. So I'll just label those. My first x value is going to be 1. So I'll just put that in. And now I need to be a bit careful about typing in my formula here. So I'm going to use some parentheses to make sure we do the math right. Uh, in this case, it's x sub n minus the function at x sub n divided by the derivative of the function at x sub n. So I start with x sub n, which is this cell here, the cell a2. Now I have a minus sign, and then I'm going to use parentheses because it's that whole quantity I'm going to be subtracting. And then inside those parentheses, I'm going to put another set of parentheses divided by another set of parentheses. And then inside that the first set of parentheses, I'm going to put my function at x sub n. So the, the function is x squared minus 21. Well, x is the cell a2, so I'll put that times itself. So that's x squared minus 21. And then in the next set of parentheses, on the bottom of the fraction here, I'm going to put the derivative of the function, which is just 2 times x sub n. So 2 times x sub n, which is cell a2. Now, this should be the correct formula. And this value that we've got here is going to be the number we want for our next x sub n. So in cell a3 here, I'm going to put equals and then this cell. And we will hit enter there. Now, the, it gets a lot easier from here because I'm simply going to copy these values down the columns. So what this is doing is just filling in, making cell 4 equal to what shows up in cell 3 in column B, and cell 5 so show, equal to what shows up in cell 4 in column B, and so on. And now I'll do the same thing up here. I'll copy the formula. And as you can see, we quickly approach an answer. And if we're doing this to 1 1,000th uh, accuracy, we've got 4.583 as our answer there. So that's how you can use a spreadsheet to approximate roots with Newton's method.